this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. And he found Wait. a knife. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly noon. The killer's new. Possibly? <laughs> was it the lack of clothing? Grounds strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? He he was missing for 13 years, and you guys are worried about that? Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Do I have the option of going up to the cabin now? Be right back. Got it. Oh, I do. I wonder, does this change the storyline, though? Hi, buddy. The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Interesting. Oh, we're just doing a little bit of B and E. Well, doing a little B and E. Hi, bud. Hi. Can I help you? Did you come to say hi too? You cannot have anything I have. Ah, ah, don't touch Bertha. Or Mima. Preferably don't touch Mima. Go on. Okay. We, um... Gonna, oh, oh, oh God. This is, this is relatively, relatively clean for, you know, questionable. A murder scene? Well, no, it's it's the witch's cabin, but um, it kind of no. I probably shouldn't be running off into the woods by myself, but it's fine. Fuck it. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Can't go any further. Can't you? It's too deep. Can't you? Sounds like you're not trying hard enough. What the fuck? What is this? Oh, am I just running around collecting shit I'm supposed to be collecting later? Because that's what this looks like. What's the worst that could happen? Get murdered by a tree cult? <laughs> Shut up, Casey. I'm investigating. I'm looking at stuff. I'm using my eyeballs. Is that what you're doing? My eyeballs. Okay. I'm looking, I'm seeing, I'm searching with my eyeballs. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. The fuck do you think you saw? Witch's Finder's Station. Okay, well you can't go that way, so I don't know what the fuck you think you saw, but we're certainly... We, we get the weird, like, forest story. I was, look, alert. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creep. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. Stop it. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. 
She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. There's like a thousand other dudes you could have picked to carve the heart out of, is all I'm trying to say, but whatever. Who am I? Oh, oh, it's the pretty tree. Oh, there's a tree like this. That That's like the one that's by the fucking thing. By Young River, yeah. Yeah. There we have a tree like this. It's very pretty. Gateway tree. Very old. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. There's a piece of paper on the ground. What's it say? You gonna you gonna let me see it? You gonna let me you gonna let me let me see it? Let me let me see it. Felt like a message was a message. The victim was one of their own. Gone. Oh my god! <gasps> <gasps> He writing the story. He doing the writing. Whoa. Too many unknowns doesn't make any sense. Asking wrong questions. A dead end. Literally. Wow. What, he walked through a boulder? That doesn't make sense. Anything else here? Read a manuscript. I tried to, and then it yelled at me. Are you gonna let me? You gonna let me have it? Let me read it? Wow, that's stupid. I had to sit- Fuck you. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. Why did the world get all wibbly wobbly? Someone knew they were here. My husband playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. That's so assumptive of you. Who'd have thought? So the killer is watching us? Game on. Yeah, I definitely didn't turn this into a major best-selling novel. This was so sweet. Holy fuck. You want anything else? Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I'm just... So you didn't think... You didn't think found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. You didn't think to do that before? There's more going on here than I'm seeing. Time to go ahead and shove my hands right in this guy's chest. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Great. Good talk. Love it. Love that for me. Here we go now. Oh. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. No shit. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. <laughs> the text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? 
Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. You made it back. Deciding Good. what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. God, I hate you. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Nobody gives a fuck. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after deer fest. <sighs> Are you fucking for real? Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh Deer Diner. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. <clears throat> a shortcut back to the park. Gomer Pyle's back. Gomer Pyle wasn't always useless. Yeah, this guy's deputy uh, dipshit. So, give give key give key. Thanks. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Is this something I'm supposed <laughs> to keep in mind for later? Because it sure as fuck feels that way. Oh man, I don't... Please don't lose this key. You know, one time in my hometown, there was a woman that decapitated her husband. And like, no. Was really? she the one that that, that decapit Anyway, I can I say that she killed someone in a real brutal way and my small town was like, "Oh no, what do we do with this?" That's it. That's the story. When did that happen? When I was younger, like oh, it 12 or 13 years out, ago. Yeah. yeah, it was it was like 12 or 13 years ago. Damn. But yeah, she like she she, she lost her shit. All right, this woman, she went fucking nuts, and even I was impressed because I was like, "Oh well, that's can't fit." Yeah, but you, when you live in a little small town, though, removed, stuff like that's fascinating. Tripod, track I mean, stuff like that was fascinating to me anyway, because yeah, I just obvious mean, reasons, like, but small town stuff like where nothing happens, nothing. stuff like that, maybe is like, Ooh, a thing. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? I mean, they Stop didn't throw it away. They kind of set it down next to him. But yeah, okay, whatever. Like, you couldn't have deduced by now that they were very clearly interrupted. So they set the heart back down and couldn't complete the ritual in question. Because, like, you're going to talk to the witnesses that literally fucking interrupted them. Like, wh do, what do you want, a fucking detective cookie? Honey, that's, that's some real wrinkle brain talk. This woman is supposed to be an FBI profiler specifically for Quantico. That is the job I wanted to do. You're not allowed to be a dumbass doing that job. Not allowed. Dumbassery is not allowed. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. It does take place in Washington. It does take place in Washington. Okay. That's why. So nobody can drive. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're assuming here? All of I, this is really the culmination of some shitty road rage. I didn't say that. You I did. Can't get that I sure fucking did. Out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out. So there are two things before. that I immediately became when I moved here. My friend Ozzy warned me about them both. One was really, really hateful towards Washington drivers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a there's a cutscene. Hold on. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but. I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Okay, continue. What's two? Uh, two was like weirdly prejudiced against Californians. Need to swing by the lodge and to get anything. Both of them happened office. within like a week no, of moving to Oregon. I'll park there and anyway. Ozzy warned me that I was going to happen. The diner, get a feel she for was the right. town. Where are we just moved from? That's kind of what I'm like. I'm I, I almost said. That. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I need to do some Googling. Is there a deer fest nearby? I kind of want to know. No, that's a real thing. No, it isn't. No, it is. It is. No. Yes. It's deer fest is a legitimate thing in Wisconsin. Oh, I believe that. What the fuck? Deer fest is a legitimate thing. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of weird. It's in Wisconsin. But Wisconsin. That's how you say it, right? Wisconsin. Come get percolated. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Illinois has deer and beer fest. Get it where you can. Get it now. 
How much is this man being paid? Not enough. It's like, like an aerosol can. He's rocking Converse. But like the high top ones. Yeah, like he's he's got he's got some Converse money. Homie's got regular ass tennis yeah. shoes over here. Oh wait, nope, those are also Converse. Converse are like sixty dollars shoes, bro. Is that part of your required fucking uniform? I hope not, because those get wet and it's over. I'm in hell. City. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about your swamp ass, bro. Are you guys struggling? You look like you're struggling. What's going on over here? Corn fest? That sounds like Autumn's worst nightmare. I hate corn. Elotes is the only fucking... I'm gonna go check something out. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't taste like corn. It's like Mexican street corn. With cheese. Just a few more days. Yeah. It's a nice and sometimes rich. And tahini. This is my first deer tahini. Tahini. So I don't know what to expect. Big plans. It is the <sighs> All right, you guys are boring. The happiest day of the year. Oh dear. Cute. This man looks real Hello. serious. How's it going? My dude's looking real suspicious right now. What is the guy in the jacket over here doing? What are you doing, bud? You look suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> Drinking coffee. What'd you put in it? Huh? Oh, you're fine. You're just chilling. You're just vibing. Oh, hi. Nah, you vibing. We're cool. You guys look real fucking suspicious, though. What are you doing over here? Looking at poles? Who looks at another guy's pole, huh? See you guys, that's who. You're real suspicious. What are you doing by the garbage? In a suit. Who the fuck do only aliens do that shit in Men in Black? I see you. What are you- why are you turning away? Why are you turning away? Why won't you face me? Why won't you face me? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you- what are you up to? Only fucking aliens in Men in Black dress like that. What's up? They're being weird in the alley. Look at them. Checking their fucking pockets. What'd they drop? The universe? <laughs> Valhalla nursing home. <gasps> Do we get to see the boys again? <gasps> I would love to see the boys again. Get the boys back in town. What? I forgot you didn't play the first one. Mm -mm. I'll have to show you that scene. It's pretty fucking lit. The only thing I've watched in the first one is Ash trying to drive badly. Staying alive is the coolest fashion statement. Wear a life jacket. Has oh. your loved one gone missing? Protect your belongings. Stay safe. What to do during a natural disaster? Free. What happens if you call those numbers? I want to try it. to try? I'm going to try Hold on. I want to call this number. Oh. I was hoping it would dial to like... Like a one of those connected fucking... Anyway, like whatever. in-game Easter yeah. egg type yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. You must be Sheriff I Breaker. Sheriff. The facial hair gave you away. Except for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses. Yeah, Pennsylvania's they made messy. They sound I feel like you. suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? Always. No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Coffee and pie, is it? Pair notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Caffeine and sugar is what's gonna calm their nerves. <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna kiss the files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Also, if you knew this guy, aren't you supposed to like take a time out on this case? Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around. Yeah, but in a small town, that's harder. The fence was built just after. They work for the FBI. Yeah. This is not a small town right. issue. Is that, is that... Ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. Thanks, man. I'm glad I need. Oh my god. <coughs> oh. Still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Happy Kids of all ages can celebrate Deer Fest at the Happy Harvest, Bright Falls 81st Deer Fest, located at. T Tomisto Farms, just a 10-minute drive out of town. Due to concerns over last year's incident, adults are asked not to bring alcohol to this event. Big Buck Cheeseburger, eight ninety nine, Tasty. All right. Okay. Also, just so we're clear, 
I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it's little, my. Oh, that's a fucking stuffed animal in the high chair. I got I, real concerned for a second. Why are they leaving their child alone in the high chair? Yeah, actually, I was like, is homie okay? He's this is over. It's like, oh, this no, is bright toy. falls. They just leave their babies in high chairs. But it's a little more concerning than it's a toy. It's fine. Right? A nine dollar cheeseburger is the real horror here. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. You're being real shitbag behavior okay. about some questions, my guy. Like, I just need you to, like, chill. All right, first, why are we there? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New, New York. York. Oh, so they're a writer. Do we have any more? What yeah. do you see here? I was down at the lake, working on some details. Perfectly legal. No one said anything. Calm down. Fuck. Just tell me what you saw. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy. Shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Like what? Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Saga, are you going to write any of this down, my guy? Because, like, I feel like this is relevant information that you're supposed to, like, write down. But okay, sure, yeah, whatever. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. That's a valid assumption. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree. Fair, cult fair. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. I'm not really sure why they've got like this weird conjoined photo going on, but okay. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. This bitch is just straight clairvoyant. Like, she just knows shit. I want to talk about that. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. It doesn't matter if they were telling the truth, though. One, they still broke into a private area in the middle of the night when they weren't supposed to. But I'll get fucked about it, I guess. Two, uh, it's fine that they did that or whatever. I don't agree with it. I think it's horseshit. But the point stands. Um, maybe don't lie. Just, just throwing that out there. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Like, you couldn't just take a picture of it? It's a real shady-ass behavior, Tammy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now. Hi, Rose! Questions. Good to see ya! Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That 
It's so weird you don't remember. What? How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. Bro, the plot fucking thickens, though. What? Ew. Bitch, you don't think that shit's weird? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You can't possibly think that that's normal. You don't have questions? I would have some fucking questions, bro. Like, you just, you're, you're just gonna let that go? That's it? That's the thing? Nah, fuck that. <laughs>